Alright, with newfound determination, I left my room. Well, that even showering or brushing your teeth or anything? Oh, hey, you. You have anything else to say? Hey! Good morning, Makoto! God damn, is that how you treat everyone? G good morning. <laughs> yes! Morning greetings are quite a delight. Such an energizing way to start the day. Now then, let's make sure that both of us do our very best throughout the day! Sure. I wonder if he's always be like this. I hope not. Uh... Sayaka, right? Knock knock. There's a doorbell with next to the door. I guess I should use that. Hello? Good morning, Sayaka. Oh, Makoto. Perfect timing. Huh? Listen, I have a favor to ask. A favor? I just... I was just getting ready to head out if that's okay. Would you like to come with me? Maybe we can talk. Yeah, sure. Where are you headed? Oh, um... I've been thinking of that there might be something around here I could use for self-defense. Okay. Self-defense?! Well, I mean, whoever's keeping us here could show up and attack us any time. You never know. Whoever trapped us here. Whoever presented us with rules for murdering each other. Whoever put us in the same position, she's right. We never know when they might attack. So I just want to happen to protect myself no matter what happens. A weapon to protect herself. Well, now that I think about it, it the display case in the gym entryway had a bunch of stuff there, maybe. Oh, the gym? Okay, let's go. You are... Like I said, I'm psychic. Okay, seriously, that, that joke's getting old, psych. I do something new. <laughs> Am I really so easy to predict? Anyways, we should head to the gym. For anyone who just hates walking around the school, we've got some good news. You can now teleport using the map section of the handbook. It's as simple as opening the map menu, choosing where to go. However, you can only teleport to hallways and marked waypoints. Plus, you can't teleport to places you haven't been or places that are blocked off. And depending on certain story moments, there will be times where you won't be able to teleport at all. Finally, try not to teleport inside any walls. There's a chance you'll get lost forever. Well then, good luck and have fun. Is there a possibility of glitching or something, or what? Hey, um... <laughs> Alright, uh... Where's the map again? There we go. So we could teleport to the gym if we... So there's a dining hall, people. Go to the main hallway. Talk to Celeste and, uh... That guy. What the square... Oh, that's a... Percentage of places. He's in the laundry. That's all the people we have so far. I don't see Mondo or anything. Alright, let's talk to Peter Griffin and Celeste, wherever the hell they are. Okay. Oh, oh, there you are. Hello. I hope you are well. Well, hello. I hope that two of you are having a nice okay. day. Good morning, Celeste. <laughs> Exchanging his common greetings is somehow strange. Is that okay? Given the circumstances and everything. <laughs> you know, sometimes you scare me a little. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm off. Hey, um. Should we get going? All right. Um. Fuck. Where's the gym again, though? I don't remember. What's this place exactly? Hey, um. We're going on. Yeah. But... <laughs> All right. Just repeating some same dialogues. All right. Mm-hmm. Huh. Moses. Mr. Nagy. Miss Mizono. Where are the two of you off to? A man and a woman, growing closer. Hey, what are you trying to say? Like when two people are stuck in a hostage situation, and of the course of the story, they fall in love. There's really no other way to express it but to say... I feel as if... How very poetic. Hey, um... Makoto, do you have any idea what he's talking about? Nope, I don't have a clue. <laughs> See, you're weird. Uh, but yeah, uh, uh hmm. Sayaka's cute and all, I guess, but yeah, I'm probably more of the other type of girls. Let me check. I think there are other girls that are probably my, more of my type or something. Maybe. I like out, but that's mostly because she's a very attractive lady. Yeah, I, I guess Saika, but then again, Saika is also pretty fucking creepy as hell. 
Uh, right. Uh, gym. Where the fuck's the gym? Kitchen, warehouse, dining hall, bathhouse, dressing room, girls' bathroom, boys' bathroom, trash room. Where's the gym again? It's in the fucking... Oh, hey, there are other people on... Okay. So, hallway. Let's go there. I guess we can also talk to more people, why not? I don't know exactly where we are. Yeah, we can't really do much here. Oh, there's a gym, but uh, there's apparently people here that we could talk to if we want to, so let's uh, talk to them, I guess. Hmm. We had to find some way out of here no matter what. And that's why we went with Hina and... And that's why you went with Hina and Toko? However... Well, Hina's the one that invited Toko. I had trouble talking to people directly. Ah, understandable. Alright. Hey, Toko, what the fuck are you doing? Toko together with the other two. Quite a combination. What's your problem? What do you want? You look like you have to say something. Oh no, I was just thinking that you three make a pretty unique team. <laughs> Let me think. This is perfectly clear. Me hanging with two people who have muscles where I, their brains should be in not by well, is not by choice. Just a second. Wow, that was super mean. Mm -hmm. Yesterday you were complaining how nobody invited you. This that's the reason why I asked you to come with us. Mm -hmm. I never asked you to do that. Stop just trying to drag me farther into your meat dimension. Mm -hmm. Jeez, I can't believe she just ran off. You think you uh, wait? Uh, I swear to God, Toko, you're a lost cause. They're like water and oil, anyways. I mean, where they did get along. Uh, we didn't talk to Ao yet, so let's talk to him. He's awfully a lot taller than person than I remember. Well, look who it is. Sup, guys? What are you up to? We're picking up where we left off yesterday. I'm really hoping we find something today. If we do, I'll be sure to let everyone know ASAP. All right, she's. Very nice. That's good. Uh, is there anyone I want to talk to? Nurse's office? Okay, we could go there, I guess. Main hall? Has those two. Or... So actually, yeah, let's talk to her and see what's up. Where the fuck's the school store? What is this? If you're looking for the door to gym, this isn't it. We really have to go to the gym. 1B... Despair Hotel. Oh boy, well, I don't know what that was. So I guess I can't talk to whoever. Store. Because she's there, but. Oh, never mind, we could get in there. Never mind. Okay. Okay. What's in here? Hi! Hey there, Macau Tao. Oh, is it just the two of you right now? Are you on a date? What? Damn, Makoto, I would never guess, but you're a real total player, you know that? <laughs> no, no, it's nothing like that. I'm his assistant. To be dismissed just like that, it says what? somehow. Huh? His assistant? What is that, like some sort of kind of roleplay thing? Sorry. Well, whatever. What you're into is your business, I don't judge. Anyway, if you don't mind. <laughs> yeah, let's just do that. <laughs> I think we're just wasting our time here, so fuck it. Yeah. Uh, how long we took it? I don't even know. I can't keep track of break times or whatever. Fuck, am I going backwards? God damn it. There's be so much, like... Ugh, I hate not strafing. Why can't we strafe? We deserve the right to strafe! Yeah. Maybe there is a way to strafe, it's just... I, I, I can't do it or something. Okay, we're... Here we are at the gym, right? Hey, um... Here we go. I might be able to find something here to protect myself with. Yeah, I'm sure I'll find some displays I can use. Alright. Like this sword? That seems like a murder weapon, if anything. But, uh... Okay. Is stealing okay? Is this a sword? Oh no, I think it's just a replica. So it's pretty impressive. It's completely covered in gold coating. But... Jeez, I just barely touched it. It got all gold stuff all over my hands. Uh, um... Wow, you're right. Your hands are totally gold. Even just for self-defense, I think this is a little... Well, I think it's better than nothing, hey, I guess. Um... You should take it with you. It might help living up your room a little. You think so? 
I, but I guess you better be careful thinking back. You should wrap it with new, some newspaper or something. And just like that, it's been decided. I don't see anything I could really use for self-defense. Hey, don't worry about it. It's not like you need it right now, right? Uh, plus, if anything were to happen, when the time comes, I'll protect you. Huh? You'll protect me? <laughs> Thank you for saying that. If I've got you on my side, I guess I don't need a weapon after all. Dude, don't rely on me, I'm a fucking wimp! You saw me getting knocked out from Monado, boy! Right? I can tell it comes from the heart. It makes me feel at ease. She's sidekick, remember that? When I look at her, I honestly feel like I can do anything. <laughs> okay, we can stop looking for a weapon, but but as long as we're here, let's hang out a bit more. Social links! Hey, I guess we got the fucking sword now. That's it. Um... I know I said I want to talk to you, but now that we're here, I really don't know what to talk about. Sorry. And I was the one who invited you to come with me, Sue. Sorry. It's okay, I mean, if there's nothing to talk about, then we can just not talk. <laughs> huh? huh? You don't have to force yourself- Oh, you don't have to force to talk. We can just, I don't know, stare off into space or whatever. Stare off into space? Oh, but you're probably super bored, just standing around doing nothing. Um, no, it's not that it's boring, it's just... I... I never really done it before. I don't have a lot of time to just do nothing. I guess that makes sense. You're not a normal high school student like me. We've got tons of stuff to do every day. Um, listen. um hey, this is kind of out of nowhere, but Makoto, do you ever have a dream? <laughs> well, what about you, Sayaka? What about your dream? I'd love to hear. I... My, my dream is I've always wanted to be a star. As long as I can remember. I grew up without a mother, you know. And my dad worked really late every night. I was always home alone. I was just a kid, you know, so I was really lonely. But that all changed when the Fire Nation attacked. No, that all changed when I became a pop star on TV for the first time. She was so pretty, like a princess, and she could sing and dance. But more than anything, there was her smile. Looking at her smile, I could feel my loneliness melting away. I decided that that's what I want to be someday. I want to give that kind of encouragement to others. <laughs> Eventually, that became my dream. It's so amazing though. You were able to actually fulfill your lifelong dream. Honestly, it's really incredible. I... I did whatever it took to reach that dream. I mean, even some things that weren't so pleasant. Huh? You see? I honestly believe that as long as you keep chasing your dream, someday they'll have to come true. But to do that, you can't take your eyes off of your dream. Not even for a second. Even if sometimes it's a bad dream, whenever you're awake, whether you're asleep, to make your dream a reality, you have to keep your gaze fixed on it no matter what. Um... In that world, if you lose focus for even a split second, you're not, you get left behind. You have to keep on swimming against the current, without even taking time to breathe. That's the kind of world my dream lives in. Is it really that tough? Is it not fun at all? Oh no! Oh no, don't get the wrong idea, it's super fun! But that's exactly what scares me. Huh? Uh, um... I enjoy every single day I wake up and get to do what I do. Everyone in our group is amazing. We're rivals in a way, but they all mean so much to me. We've been performing together since we were young, so they're all like family to me. Without them, I would have given up on my dream a long time ago. To work together and fulfill our dreams together has brought me so much happiness. But that's why... But that's the thing that scares me the most. If the world gets tired of us, then what happens? What happens to us? When the dream dies, those, wonder those wonderful days come to an end and everyone goes their separate ways. See? So, that's the reason I decided to come to Hope's Peak. Huh? What do you mean? Um... Well, they say that if you graduate from here, success is basically guaranteed. Which means I could keep on performing with my best friends forever and ever. At least, that's what I thought. I really did believe that, but now we're trapped here with no way out. 
that probably waited for me. While I'm here, the world out there is forgetting about me. Minute by minute, we're all disappearing. But still... Sayaka? I, I can't afford to be stuck in here! That was the first time I heard her cry out from deep within herself. She sounds... Desperate. But I can understand why she'd feel that way. Trapped here this way, the dream she put so much effort into is on the verge of disappearing forever. And that isn't something that can be fixed with a few kind words. The weight she's carrying. I can't even imagine it. Sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to complain. Um I kinda killed the mood, huh? No. Actually, yes, you fucking killed the mood. Thanks a lot, bitch. I'm <laughs> Sorry. I'm really sorry. Are you hungry? <laughs> Before we head back, why don't we get to dining? Yeah, let's just... So... Okay. You want me to make us something to eat? I might not be, be look like it, but I'm actually a really good cook. Please don't be a Yukiko. <laughs> wow, really? What's your specialty? Chili oil. You mean the condiments? <laughs> just kidding. Her earlier mood disappeared, replicated by the bright smile I'd quickly grown used to. But how did it happen so fast? It was almost like a mask, some kind of neutral expression. D do we have classes or not? Anyway, we headed to the diner hall and get something to eat before returning to our dorms. Okay. Was that the entire di day? It's still daytime. The only thing in my room is a fake sword cover in gold. All it does is make me feel that much more uncomfortable. Anyway, there's still plenty of time left in the day. I really don't feel like just sitting here. Maybe I should just take a look around. You're about to... Uh, yeah. You're about to have your first experience with free time. Would you like to hear about it? Sure. First option, not at all. Thanks, game. As you live out your school life here, you will be able to give in free time at certain points. During your free time, you can spend time with your fellow classmates to deepen your friendships. You can also give them presents, which can potentially give them even better impressions on you. You can get these presents from the Mono Mono machine in the school store. Come by early and often. At certain points, you'll, be witness, you'll witness intimate events and new info will be added to each person's report card. These events can also open up new skills, which also prove useful as everything else, everything plays out. We strongly encourage you to develop and deepen as many friendships as possible, so that your hopes will be crushed as soon as they die. Also, keep in mind that when you talk to a classmate, time will pass. When you're finished, you will automatically return to your room. After a certain amount of time passes, your free time will come to an end and the story will progress. If you'd prefer not to engage in free time, you can also choose to simply go to sleep and skip it. We wouldn't recommend this approach, but if you absolutely must press forward with the story, then anyway, why don't you try out spending some time with Miss- Why are you pressuring me to spend time with her of all people? She's the ideal partner to begin with, don't you think? No! I feel like she's gonna stab me in the fucking back! Maybe some other people's backs too! I don't mean figuratively, I mean fucking literally! I don't trust her as, as much as she's a fucking assistant of mine. Oh, anyways, um, map time. Uh, let's talk to other people instead. We can talk to, uh, Keely Keely, that chick, or Peter Griffin. Or we could go to the dining hall with Celeste. Or we go to the kitchen, where the hell that is. Alright, I'm guessing the dining hall is like. What is this place? Oh, that's a- wait, hold on, wasn't I here? Okay. Alright, so talking to people, so I had to talk to specific people. Alright, um, actually let's talk to you. I'm not sure if I have like a specific amount of time to talk to people, but let's start with you. Getting stuck here is like totally disgusting. <sighs> I wanna get out of here! Well, that was so useful. Okay. <laughs> Shit. Alright, what about, uh... I feel like that- would that like... I don't know. Uh, we're in the dining hall now. There's Celeste. <laughs> everyone's, everyone's working hard trying to find an exit, are they not? Hmm, good luck with that. I have no interest in such menial labor. Okay. Can I go to the dining hall somehow? Okay, there we go, maybe.
Hey, did you find a way out of here? I didn't find anything. Nothing. Zippa, zooch, zilch. Lost all my motivation. Do I have to... I, I think I'm spending way too much time with Sayaka, honestly. But I guess if the game really wants me to go with her, then... I guess I kind of have to. I mean, these guys are not giving me any interesting dialogue, so... I think there's a point in... Alright, let's... Okay, teleport to Sayaka's room, or I think I have to go there individually. Alright, Sayaka! Da -da, where are you? Alright, so this red dormy thing. That's our dormitories, basically. I guess I should just press the doorbell. Um, listen. You know, Makoto, I'm so anxious. I really am afraid. What should I... Talk to Saika. Should I talk to Saika for a while? I think that, I mean, the people I kind of want to hang out with right now, so far they're pretty busy, so I'll spend some time with you, Saika. Are you going to try and cheer me up? Sorry for making you take time out of your day like this. I don't know, we, do we have school day or whatever? I do my best to comfort Sayaka. Sayaka and I grew a little closer together. Not really. I don't have any presents, do I? Um, Makoto, do you think you can make time for the two of us to talk? Alright, why are you being so formal? Well, it's just, I guess that was kind of formal, but it's just because I know I can count on you. Huh? Having you by my side really makes me feel a lot better. Um, if you were here with me, I just don't know what to do. I'd be lost. That's why. I hate that we had to meet again under such awful conditions, but I'm relieved you're with me. Saying here face to face, blah, blah, blah. It's nice, but it's kind of embarrassing at the same time. I know how you feel. Must be you being here is what, is what saved me. <sighs> really? <laughs> Thank you for the flattery. Seriously, don't need to go in depth with your fucking perverted mind, dude. But it's kind of strange, you know. Also, I'm not liking this creepy music. I never thought I'd get a chance to really talk to you like this. All through middle school, you never talked to me. In fact, you never even looked at me. It's because you were like a celebrity. I couldn't just go around staring at you. Wait, how do you know I never looked at you? Hey, um... Because I looked at you all the time. Huh? I, I was... Always looking for an opportunity to talk to you. You wanted to talk to me? But since I always had so many people around me, we ended up graduating without saying a word. That was one of my biggest regrets. But why me? What's the right answer? Can I go to the interwebs? <laughs> What's the bird? Bird is oh my god! Did they even give me a fucking walkthrough or something? Oh my god! They actually are. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh. How do I get out of here? Oh shit. Uh. Add bookmark. <laughs> Circle doesn't seem to do anything. Right trigger. Uh, oh fuck, how'd I get out of here? Square, home button, home button, okay. Uh, spare, okay, so, heron, I don't know what the fuck that is, a crane, what kind of crane, okay, so it has to be like a, some sort of like really rare animal from what I'm guessing. I don't know what the fuck a heron is, but. Oh no! No, not quite, it was similar, but even bigger than that, a crane. Like a heron, but bigger, that had to be. A huge bird wandering into the school pond during our first year of junior high. I think it might have been a crane. It was a crane. It just walked right into the pond. Okay. That's right. That's what it was. How the fuck am I supposed to know this? It was so big, the teacher had no idea what to do. But you led it into the forest behind the school. You helped it find its way out. Well, only because I already I was already in charge of taking care of the animals at school. They made me you do see. it. I should have said thank you then, but... Is it okay if I do it now? I... I th I'm that crane, you see. I've come to return the favor. Here, let me make you a cloak. 
Hee <laughs> hee. Just kidding. What? You and your fucking just kidding. I can't take you seriously, you know that? Honestly, though, I was so impressed. That's why I've always wanted to talk to you, even just once. Uh, um... I never imagined this would be how I got my chance. Yeah, if we met again at a train station somewhere downtown, that'd make a nice dramatic reunion. But instead, it's this weird school. I... Maybe, but still. I'm sure you'll help me find my way out, just like that crane. You'll save me. You see? It's just intuition, I know, but I still believe it. I'm going to save her? I'll do my best, I promise that. I'll make sure it's more than just intuition. If there's anything I can do, I'm going to do it. <laughs> I believe in you. Besides, my intuition always turns out to be right. Like I said, I'm psychic. Because I'm psychic. <laughs> uh, I swear to God, you're just pissing me off with the whole I'm psychic kind of googly thing. Huh. The closer we get, the stronger that smile gets me. I was glad to... This is a regret I make. Sayaka's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. You just unlocked the skill. Melodious voice. Gives yourself a pat on the back. You've earned it. I got a skill. Once we were all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. Huh. Is it still free roaming time or what? No, it's night time. So it's like 10 p.m. right now, isn't it? Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. So I spent the entire day talking to Sayaka. Fuck. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked. And entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Did we even learn anything in this school? All we did was socialize in our own little okay, dormitories. Then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Okay, yeah, that's basically the same shit that I talked about before. Today already has come to an end. I don't even know what the fuck today is. But I swear, tomorrow, I'm going to find some kind of clue. I swear. So, we'll be right back, uh... Yeah. 